guys, Kid Kruger here with another Saturday vlog. Now, it's recently come to my attention that a good uh, rule of thumb when creating content is to, number one, talk about what you know, number two, add your personal twist to it. So I thought we'd do my first ever, get ready for it, story time, dream journal entry, as it were, for the Kid Kruger channel. So. What we're going to talk about today is sleep paralysis. Yes, that's right, sleep paralysis. Now, do you know what sleep paralysis is? I do, because from a very young age, I've had these very strange events. Um, at the time, when they first started happening, I didn't know what they were or where they came from or that actually other people experienced such a thing. But I had these events often where... You know how you feel when somebody's just about to like run up on you and like scare you? Like your whole entire body tenses up and you're like, whoa, fuck! And you're like, you're bracing yourself for that moment. Right when I'm going to sleep, that hits me. And then all of a sudden it feels like somebody has punched me in the chest and I can no longer move. I can no longer speak. I can sort of breathe, I cannot vocalize, and I cannot move at all. I'm completely paralyzed. It's gotten to the point sometimes during these attacks where I actually feel myself get slammed up against the wall. Like when my bed used to be up against like a corner in a wall, I would be up against the wall kind of like stuck there and I would be trying to scream desperately but I couldn't and everything was pitch black but somehow I knew that there was somebody on top of me or like right up against me wanting something from me now what they wanted I don't know but I was in bed but it didn't feel like a good want in bed you know what I mean it wasn't like hey you got something I like it was more like hey I'm gonna take whatever you have because I'm an evil son of a bitch and I don't give a fuck but anyway I digress I would have attacks like that. I would also have attacks where um, my body, like these have been happening recently, where it gets so severe that my body actually contorts. Like my torso will be one way and my legs will twist the other way. I have gotten them so bad that recently I've cracked my back like in 17 spots, which feels great in the morning. I stand an inch taller, but God damn, come on people. It's not exactly the way I want it to happen. Although, we can technically say that I don't have to pay for a chiropractor. Silver linings all around. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've always had these attacks since as far back as I can remember. I've had um, times where I've had people sleep over with me or somebody in bed with me and it happens. And I have this apparently horrific look on my face like, you know when like uh, in the ring when the woman at the beginning finds her daughter in the closet and she's all, that's apparently my face. Yeah, we'll repeat it. That's my face. And my eyes usually bug out and I can't speak at all. I've asked my roommate recently if he heard me screaming because I know when I'm having these events, it feels like I'm screaming full voice. And he says he's never heard me, but my throat is always raspy the next day. I talk like very white when I go to work. So something is going on, we don't know. Um, I've had people tell me, uh, psychics or, um, clairvoyance or stuff like that. People have told me that there is something following me, that there is something attached to me, uh, that I don't know. Um, I've tried several things trying to detach that. I used to think it was where I used to live because at the height of them, when I was in my twenties, I was in living... I was living in a place where it was directly next to a cemetery. So like if you looked out our back kitchen window, the house was like kind of tilted and you could see a cemetery. And that's when like the major crushing used to happen where like I would just lay flat on my back and I couldn't move. But I don't know if something has been attached to me since youth, if somebody put something on me, cursed me, if I walked through the wrong grocery store and somebody's funk just laid itself all over me. I don't know, but strange thing. It's a constant thing. It's something I have to deal with on a daily or 
semi-daily basis. Um, there have been bouts where it gets even more severe. Uh, sometimes stress brings it on more. Sometimes um, sickness can do that. But once again, that's people coming back and telling me, well, that's when you're at your weakest and that's when the demons won't end. Well, you know what? I have always had an open door policy for demons and the like. So if you want to hop up in here and take this for a test ride, I'm fine with it. Just let me document it because I think that would make a fantastic channel. Reagan ain't got nothing on me all the time. Anywho, uh, uh, side note, uh, leading into also horror movie kind of things having to do with this subject. Uh, a few months ago, I discovered on Netflix, there is a really amazing documentary, really intense uh, documentary called The Nightmare, which you should all check out because it's very informative and it's about eight different people and their experiences with what people call sleep paralysis, night terrors, uh, how some have linked it to potential possession, some have linked it to alien abduction, like their memories. Um, because there is a lot of invasiveness with uh, the whole bout. Like, you feel very violated. It's It's got a rapey vibe. It's got a, 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 a assault vibe to it. I don't know. It's not pleasant by any stretch of the imagination. But um, you should check that movie out. It's called The Nightmare. It's on Netflix. I was about to check it out and see if they have it actually available on DVD or Blu-ray because I would really like to add it to my collection because it's just scary as fuck to watch. Especially if you don't know much about the subject and then it'll certainly make you reconsider Nightlights. Just saying. But anyway, that's my little rant for today. Just a little insight into Kid Kruger's life that I do potentially have demons around me. And only I would find that cool and fascinating. Well, maybe not only I, but only I would in my circle of friends because everybody else is like, don't joke with that, son. You need God. Or something. Anyway, that's my story for today and I'm sticking to it. Thank you for coming by the channel again. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you know anything about sleep paralysis, or if you think I'm just batshit banana crackers, because that's a viable option too. And sometime this week, I'm going to do a horror haul slash unbagging, unboxing, and stuff, because I have some really cool stuff coming from Fright Rags. I have something I've been dying for from eBay. I spent a little bit on it, but... I really wanted it, and that's the only way I was going to get it, so I did it. So I'm going to unbag that for you guys, too. And also, um, Moody Vooties, they're on Etsy, and they're amazing. Uh, they are sending me a very cool thing, and I can't wait to unbox that for you guys as well. So, check it out. Come back. Look for me. All that business. And don't forget, have pleasant dreams.